Hi Pisces, welcome to your fortnightly tarot reading with me, Raphael Ray from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. So, I am bringing you a fortnightly reading in the shape of a monthly reading this fortnight, and I'm doing that because I am actually off on my travels next week, um, or this week actually, uh, and it's a long time coming and I well deserved, as many of you know, um, and <laughs> yeah, definitely needing this one. Um, so I wanted to guide you through, you know, to help guide you through the next um, fortnight, uh, even though I'm not going to be, you know, around. So that's why I'm, I'm doing this, and it's a longer reading than usual. Um, and I hope you like it. Um, the new format seems to be getting um, some good traction. So, you know, let me know. I would like to call in to both of these decks, all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I hope that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's see what the cards have in store for you over the next fortnight. You have, um, your first card is your actions and your interactions in the world at large and how they may well be received. What you need to know going forward over the next two weeks. Okay, so you've got the, t uh, the Three of Swords. Okay, so again, not a great card. You guys know me by now. I don't bullshit you. I just tell you how, how it is and what it is. The Three of Swords talks about a separation. It talks about being or something being removed from your life or you making the conscious decision to remove something from your life. Now, the interesting thing about this card, especially in terms of your actions, this for me talks about you separating yourself from something or someone and you're making the conscious decision to do so. This isn't something that's just randomly removed from your life. It's something that you say to yourself, you know what, this has to go now. And it's interesting because there's been a few signs that have had a similar message, but the way, shape, form and texture that it takes place is slightly different. And for you guys, this is very much a separation in terms of your love life. It's very much a separation. And the interesting thing is, you know, you've had this energy of lots of people coming back from the past and, you know, having that whole experience. But I don't think that's one, excuse me, that you wanted going forward. And I think this is very much you sort of deciding, okay, that chapter of my life is done. And the sort of person that I would have gone for before no longer fits the person that I am now. Um, the sort of love that I used to desire and actually need is no longer, it no longer reflects who I am, who I've become. And the interesting thing is Pisces loves relationships. Pisces loves to be in a relationship. Pisces loves to, you know, to love somebody, to be loved by somebody, to be in that established bond where all things are warm and, you know, fuzzy and, and comfy. But they also really need adventure. They need excitement. They need constant stimulation, not just of their internal world, but their mind as well. So interesting that you have the three of swords. Swords are communication. They're the mental world. You know, and this talks about your mind. The three of swords. So what are the three swords? They're the mind, body and spirit. But they're separating through the heart. This is making the decision to walk away from something. To have something no longer attach or impact you in your life. And it kind of says to me that your expression of this, in terms of your actions... This is about you walking away from something. It's about you walking away from something or someone and making that a conscious effort to say, you know what, I need to walk away from this now because I'm ready to put that mental energy, that manifesting energy into something greater and better and more abundant for myself going forward. So interesting. Your next card is your money and your materials. You know, this can represent everything from your home to your money to your finances, right through to your physical body and your health. And you get the seven of um, seven of pentacles. Now, this is really interesting in ta in stark contrast to what the Aquarians got. Um, so, you know, the seven of pentacles talks about what you invest in, what you give your time to, what you give your nurture to. The number seven is all to do with endurance. And you gain endurance by being tested, by being pushed to your limits to see what you can take, how much you can take, how far you are willing to go to achieve what it is that you want. 
it's a great card actually to have in the money and the materials because it means that you're really looking to create some sort of lasting change in your life in terms of your finances. This is about you saying to yourself, right, I can see a very clear line now to where it is that I want to be and I'm ready to start making that happen. And the reason you're able to start doing that over the next two weeks is because you've decided to walk away from something. It's kind of like if this were a book, you've already closed one chapter and you're on to the next one now. You know, this is your past and this is your future. This is where your future really starts. And it talks about you kind of owning that, having that space, having that freedom within to say to yourself, right, I can see where I want to be and I know what I'm going to re or what re what is required of me and what I require to make that happen, to make that physical, to make it manifest. Um, yeah, the Seven of Pentacles is about what you invest your time into, what you nurture, what you nourish within yourself. You know, this is you giving over and um, taking that mental energy because we start to read these cards separately and then we start to look at what the conjunctions mean. This is you separating yourself from a previous investment. This is you separating yourself from something that you put a lot of time and effort into, but you've decided to walk away from because you know it no longer serves you. You know that it no longer resonates with who you are or where it is that you want to be or where it is that you see yourself. Sounds like there's a car or a helicopter going outside or something. Ooh, interesting. Anyway, I digress. That's, you know, nothing to do with this at all. Uh, or maybe it is. Maybe that's, you know, the, the biggest part of it. Maybe there's, you know, some message from the universe at this moment saying pay attention to this specific point of the reading. Um, who knows? Or it could just be that helicopters looking for some somebody anyway i'm waffling about something that you know is completely irrelevant so the next card is your heart and your half and your heart and your half talks about your personal relationships the boyfriend the girlfriend the, um you know the family the social interaction oh look at this and you get the nine of pentacles you know pisces loves interaction with different people. Pisces loves, um, you know, interacting with people on all shapes, ways and forms. It, Pisces is all about beauty. Pisces loves beautiful things. Pisces loves to create beautiful things. You know, Pisces is a really creative sign. You know, you get a lot of pleasure out of drawing, out of arts, out of creative things. And the Nine of Pentacles is a really beautiful card. It talks about skill. It talks about abundance. It talks about um, blessings. It talks about beautiful environments and surrounding yourself by things, you know, of that ilk that just excite your soul because they're so beautiful. In terms of, you know, your relationships, this says that actually over the next fortnight, your relationships are blessed. And the big part of this is because you've been able to walk away from something that no longer served you. It leaves you open to really make a decision on what you want to invest in now. And when you decide what you want to invest in, you can start to apply your personal creativity to it. When you start to apply your personal creativity to the path that you want to manifest going forward, your relationships start to get blessed and your relationships start to get blessed because you're coming from a true place of creation coming from a place of true co-creation so for those of you in established bonds this is you really taking the time to say right I'm going to invest in this relationship and more importantly how can I make it better how can I make it more beautiful? How can I make the bond between us even stronger? For those of you that are single, this talks about you going through some sort of personal health regime. It talks about you tapping into that energy and saying, right, I'm going to make myself look good. I'm going to make myself feel good. I want to start shining on the outside just as much as, you know, I want my outside physical self to reflect the, um, you know, the beautiful, creative, rich, densely packed, you know, internal world that I have. I want that to show in the way that I look and this is you tapping into that and saying right my internal beauty I want it to see it on the outside now and I want other people to see it on the outside as well it's really really awesome in terms of your social interaction this talks about skill you know your ability to be because and you know I mean you guys are the ultimate mutable sign Pisces is water sign and it's a mutable sign. You are like the epitome of mutable energy. What is mutable energy? It's changeable. It's like a chameleon. It can 
go all places and be all things and interact with all people. It's no um, no coincidence then that Pisces is the twelfth sign of the zodiac. And if you work on some of the schools of thought where you know each sign is a progression of the other, and the the oldest souls are the Pisceans. Um, because you know they've done all of the other rounds and they've ended up as the twelfth sign. The reason you're able to tap into all things and you know reflect and regurgitate and um, what's the word? Adapt to all things is because you've already been all things. You know, if you work on that assumption that actually your past lives, you've done it all, which is why you're able to move with and tap into that. You know, why you're able to um, mimic and imitate all things because you've already been all things in ways, shapes or forms. And this kind of talks about your your skill of interacting with different types of people from your princes right through to your paupers to rub shoulders with all kinds of people. That's going to be a skill that's going to be really important for you over the next two weeks. And the reason I say that is because the number nine... If you were talking about this in terms of astrology, taps into, you know, higher learning it but foreign cultures, different people, people that we've never met before. And, you know, finding common ground with them, finding ways to interact with them, even though we're so different. And this talks about your skill and your ability to do that. Really, really exciting. Your next card is your communications. So there's definitely some kind of windfall on its way to you. The Three of Wands talks about some kind of, you know, it talks about your ship coming. It talks about being in the right place at the right time. Interesting that I talked about the Ninth House because the Ninth House is ruled by Jupiter. And this is a very Jupiterian card. Um, and it talks about blessings. It talks about abundance, just like this card, which is all things beautiful and lush and fertile and vibrant. On top of that, in your communication sector, you're able to turn your words into gold. You're able to convince the right people, um, certainly to, in terms of a, a work aspect. And even in your personal sphere, you know, it might well be that you're invited to sociable gatherings or you know, you're invited to parties and you end up talking to just the right person that's able to take your business from one thing to another. That you bump into somebody and say, oh my God, like, you know, I know you're into this and did you know that this and you kind of get talking. But your communication is golden over the next two weeks. Your communication puts you squarely in the right time at the right place and it allows you to really... Um, put your best foot forward in how you can enhance other people's businesses and more importantly enhance your own by through you know by mutual uh, coalition and collaboration you really start to build this is a fortnight of networking for you like never before um so really tap into that energy and everyone that you come into contact with try and have a conversation with them because you never know which one of those conversations is going to be the one that sparks something massive for you and ends up bringing some kind of abundance or, um, you know, certainly opportunity to create abundance into your life, into your world. Very, very exciting set of cards there. Let me know how it pans out. So your destiny card for the fortnight, your overarching theme is... The Hermit card. Okay, so the Hermit is uh, represents Virgo, which is your direct opposite in the Zodiac. So this is kind of like, to me, this is that you're as above, so belowing. And you're straddling both worlds. You're inhabiting both aspects of yourself. So um, if Pisces would, was your conscious mind and, you know, your personal outlook, then the Hermit card would be your subconscious and the part of you that is hidden from the world. You know, this is the, the you behind closed doors, effectively. It's the other side of you. This talks about, um, you know, over the next sort of fortnight, don't be afraid to take some moments for yourself. Like I said, it's going to be a time of high sociable um, interaction, absolutely. And it's going to be a time where um, tapping into that energy is going to be really, really vital. Um, but it's just as important, especially for Pisceans, because you guys are the original empaths apart from Cancerians. Um, you know, it's going to be really, really important for you guys to take those little moments where you can steal away and just go, OK, I remember I'm me, my emotions are mine, my thoughts are mine. OK, now I've built my bubble back up, I can go back out into it. You know, don't be afraid to steal those little moments. And also, 
the path that's going to be laid out for you over the next fortnight, I feel like it's going to be like this. It's going to meander. You're a fish. You can do that better than anybody else. Go with it. Follow it. And if you find yourself going to places and, you know, things that you think, oh, actually, do you know what? This is taking me out of my comfort zone. Do it even more so. You know, push yourself towards it. And sometimes... Uh, that, you know, once we've had a big experience after following a path, we then need time to withdraw to integrate that experience. Don't be afraid to straddle the two worlds, you know, be sociable, be out there, be interactive, you know, enhance other people's businesses and build your own network so that you can enhance your own opportunities. But then once you've done that and you've integrated the experience, step away so that you can integrate the experience. Step away so that you can preserve what is you, and filter out what isn't. Pisces, very, very interesting set of cards. Let me know how it pans out. I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance itself. I hope you got something out of this, and I hope it serves you well for the next fortnight. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I would be eternally grateful. Uh, for those of you that would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the links below. And, um, for the continued subbies, thank you so much. It means the absolute world. For those of you that are just passing through, I hope you found something that works for you. And for those of you that are new subbies, welcome to Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Take care and I will see you very soon.